What's this guy doing? Are you taking a pee? Slept at the oh so glorious Walmart. What's up everybody? So uh, I'm in Squamish. You guys know Joseph back there and uh, I don't know where we're going. Um, he just said, hey, you want to go play in the dirt? So that's where we're going. So welcome to today's video. What do you say, guys? We're call home here tonight. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be super, super exciting. Yeah, Joseph's pulled in over there. <laughs> I like it. Oh, this place is super rad. What do you say, guys? Do we brave opening that door? It's got all the tools and stuff here, and cast iron pans, a shovel. This is awesome. A bow and arrow? That's rad. All right. You dare going in here or what? Should I open it, guys? What do you think? Should I open it? Should I? Should I open it? <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> oh, this is awesome in here. We should have brought a light. It's got a futon. Here's your uh, upper level, your guest bed. <laughs> That's an awesome little spot, man. Candles, just in case you feel like sexy time. <laughs> Utensils. We should leave some supplies in here for people, okay? You gotta, you know, just in case you need to write a diary or anything. You should come and stock up some tequila in there. <laughs> this is awesome in here, man. Oh, there's some cleaners here, just in case you feel like, you know, washing windows and stuff. <laughs> awesome. All right, I think we should stick a Weirdos Unite sticker on here. making some hot chocolate. I'm making one for Joseph too. Hot chocolate and some root beer schnapps. <laughs> yeah. Bottom of the jars. Thanks, bud. Yeah, it's hot. It's like super hot. Is this that uh, hot chocolate? <laughs> yes. You wanna go in the house? Come on, buddy, let's go in the house. Are you ready? You wanna go take a peek? Go take a peek. No, oh, you're not scared of nothing, are you? What is this, buddy? Hey, I brought a light for us so we can see. I don't know what's up there. Looks like a tarp of some sort. It's nice, it's got a few little signatures on the wall of some people that have been here. They've kept this place in pretty good shape. I'm actually really impressed. Like take a snoop and see what kind of stuff there's like lots of little tea candles a book oh, like a deck of playing cards <laughs> Who's he? what do you want to do you want to go inside you want to go inside <laughs> you unsure Is that your house now? Is it guys your big dog house? Outside or in? Go inside? 
<laughs> oh, crazy bear, hey? Oh, so much warmer in here. Oh, it's so nice to have this heater. I use my skateboard as my <laughs> as my jacket hanger. So nice to be outside, have the little bit of snowflakes falling, and inside the van being like, I don't know, how warm is it in here? It's 16 degrees Celsius. It's very cozy. I'm gonna take the jacket off. There we go, buddy. Where are we gonna hang your jacket up? We don't have a hanger for your jacket. How about we stick it right here, buddy? Hey. We got the heater on, the van is super snug and warm. And after getting in this root beer schnapps and hot chocolate, just as it really just feels so like a perfect winter day. A little bit of snowflakes falling out there. Anyway, Joseph has taken off for a little while. He's figures about a couple hours. He got on all his camouflage gear, tossed his rifle over his shoulder, and off he went to go do some manly things. So that's leaving me here with you guys to talk about something that's probably going to disgust some of you. Some of you may not have ever thought about this when it comes to van life. So let's start with me looking back at some girlfriends in my past where they were like, you don't eat in bed. No way, that's disgusting. Or girlfriends that are like, did you go to bed last night without having a shower? That's disgusting. And some people in my comments telling me how vile of a human being I am because my dirty shoes are right here. And I prepped my food right here. They're like, that is so disgusting. Why did you do that? That's such a vile design flaw and a stupid idea to put your dirty shoes here beside your kitchen. Well, I'm about to rock some of your worlds and let you in on something that's not so much of a secret, but I don't know if you guys have ever thought about this, but us van dwellers are grosser than doing this. So... This is my kitchen. This is the space in my van where I do absolutely everything. It's the only space I have that I can move around in because I have a bed back there. The back couple of feet of the van are just an extra storage areas, but I have my bed and this is my living space where I cook, where I get dressed, where I prep my food for dinner. Everything is all done right here. Guess what else I do in this space? This is my pee bottle. I pee right here. Right here. Well, I gotta get up in the middle of the night. I'm like, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. in my kitchen. <laughs> so you think maybe having my shoes back there is a bit of a disgusting thing. Imagine taking a pee in your kitchen and it gets worse. This right here is where I stick my luggable loo. If you don't know what a luggable loo is, it is literally a gray 20 liter pail with a toilet seat on top. It's got a lid on it. So it's like, you know, in your house, you get to lift the lid, sit on the toilet seat, do your thing. I put a bag in it, do my thing in the bag, tie the bag up, whoop, out it goes. But I do that in my kitchen right here. I literally, this isn't my luggable loo. I put my toilet right here. I sit down on it, put the toilet paper up here, do my thing, usually do what we all do when we're on the toilet, text a friend or post on social media. I've done that. <laughs> I do it right here in my kitchen. So I'm doing way nastier things than having my shoes right over here. But that's something I don't think a lot of people really wrap their head around is how disgusting we are as people that live in our vans. Because I don't think an average person would ever think about taking a poop in their kitchen or peeing in their kitchen multiple times in a day. It happen, happens right here. So let's take a look at this space from me first thing in the morning. <laughs> I wake up in the morning. This is where I clean myself in my kitchen. This is where I'll boil a little bit of water right here. I'll pour it in a container with a bit of soap, put it on the ground right here, and I'll scrub up all my parts. So your kitchen living space in your van is also going to be your toilet. 
And I know you guys have seen me do this before. So lunchtime, I'm gonna prep something that requires me to cut something. Sometimes I'll open up a drawer and I'll put this on the corner to cut up stuff. Sometimes I just throw it on the floor and cut up all my stuff. So technically I'm prepping my food on the floor of my bathroom. It's the floor of my bathroom too, you know. It's not just my kitchen. <laughs> and I know you guys have seen me put my dinner plate on the floor, grab my stuff from the cast iron pan, go down to the floor, scoop it into my plate, grab my plate and have dinner. Would you serve your food on a dish on your bathroom floor? Yeah. Welcome to van life. We are gross, disgusting people that end up doing things in our life that we would not do in regular life. So this little thing, that ain't nothing. <laughs> but uh, besides the gross, disgusting, nasty things that we do here, um, this has got to be the most functional space in your entire van. This is the spot where everything happens. Because this is the only spot that I can actually move around freely. I can stand up. Okay, don't look at my butt. I can't quite stand up. But this is where I move around. This is where I get dressed in the morning, prep my food, do my everyday things. Sometimes I sit on the floor here and stretch, whether I'm just down there trying to stretch my back out or whatever. But this is the space that I can do everything in my van. And if you really think of it, that is a very small amount of space to quote live in. So I don't count the back of my back of my van when it comes to like a living room space. This is it. So your kitchen, your bathroom, your uh, coat rack, your little coat room that you have when you open up your door. My coat room's here. My laundry is in here. My kitchen's here. This is my living space, and everything else is all in this one spot. So. I brought out the trusty measuring tape and today we're gonna to find out how big of a space I actually live in. So the width of my multi-purpose room is what we're gonna call it. 68 inches. So it's like arm width, I can touch both walls. So 68 inches wide of space. 68 inches, I'm gonna count from where my curtain is, which is right where you guys are. And I'm also gonna count the first I don't know, foot of my bed because I sit at my bed to work at my editing desk or whatever I'm doing at my desk, which goes across here. I'm gonna count that space because technically it's a part of my living space. So from where I sit to my curtain is 78 inches, which is like six and a half feet. So we'll call it that. So six and a half feet this way is my main living space because this is where I got a majority of my floor space. And for height, <laughs> four foot three, four feet three inches. So if you are only four foot three, you could stand up in my van. And if you stood right here where the roof vent is, you could probably stand up and have a little bit of extra space because from my floor to the screen is, One, two, no, no, it's only an extra inch. <laughs> you wouldn't have much extra space, but if you were super short, you'd probably be able to stand up in this short van. But if you look at it, this space is incredibly tiny. That's why we do all these disgusting things in this tiny little space. So if I'm peeing right here, <laughs> I'm like 30 inches from the stove. When I poop, 30 inches from the stove. <laughs> We do a lot in this space. So when it comes to you guys planning out your, your kitchen, please keep in mind that your kitchen is going to be the room that you do absolutely everything in. It's where you're gonna sit. It's where you might use some floor space to stretch out. It's where your dog's gonna sleep if you do have a dog, but it all happens here. So I think when you're in your van, think about this space. Cause people always plan on this other stuff, but they don't really realize that, okay, when I'm in my kitchen, when I'm kneeling right here, what do I need within reach? So for me, my paper towel holder, I can't move you guys right now because you're, my phone's plugged in, it's dying. My paper towel holder's on my door. So if I ever need paper towel, I reach over. <laughs> it's bigger than this, so I'm just running out. <laughs> just, just, that's half the piece that was stuck to it. <laughs> it looks like toilet paper now. Um, 
But my paper towels here, just in case I need to wipe something up here or clean out something or whatever I need, it's all right here because if I'm doing cooking and I need to clean, it's all here. I reach over to my door, I've got some spray cleaners attached to my door, so if I wanna do some dishes or anything, it's all right here within reach. Or when I get up, I kneel down on the floor in the morning and I need to pee, bada boom, it's right there. Super convenient. But think about this space, because while you're in this zone here is where you wanna have access to reaching for your switches. So I'm gonna move you a bit, hope it doesn't unplug my phone. You wanna access to anything that you need access to for switches, so I have, switches for the front of my house up here which controls these lights i have switches for everything else like all my pretty little moody moody mood lights um, are all back on this one but everything is within reach of the most functional and useful space in my van and if you think you're not gonna pee and poop in your kitchen boy you got some things to learn even friends of mine who have fully dialed out sprinter van conversions they still pee and poo in their kitchen. Sorry for saying those words. I know they're really disgusting, but it's just a part of our lives and a part of our van lives. So I got friends of mine who have those big fancy nature's head toilets, which are like the fan blows all the smelly stuff outside the van. But where are they located? The toilet usually pulls out from underneath the bed or something like that in their kitchen. And they probably sit here, they probably throw their phone up where their stove is, or they're sitting there on their bathroom and they wanna text their bros, they reach over by their stove and they're texting their friends. They're doing the same thing I'm doing from their kitchen in their big fancy pretty vans. Same stuff, our lives, are, our lives are the same no matter which way you look at us, whether you're living like me or you're living in a little minivan like Joseph back there, he does the same thing. All of those disgusting things happen right here in your kitchen. Oh, we are so disgusting. But anyway, you guys, um, for those that are really like to plan, that really are always hyper thinking about how they're gonna build their van out, I suggest you sit on the floor of your place you are right now and try to think what you need around you within reach at all times. So over here, let me turn you a bit, is my clothes rack. <laughs> Um, I use my skateboard to hang my jackets and everything else. But on the door is my my toilet stuff, my water is over here, my garbage cans and things are on this door. But everything I need is within reach. Sorry guys, I'm trying to pop you up there. You guys gonna stay? <laughs> I don't want my phone to fall over. Everything I need is in my kitchen. So I don't know if I should call this a kitchen. If I say, hey guys, come on into my bathroom. Because from my front door, you technically walk into where I do those number one and number two things, my bathroom. So when friends come over and they sit in my swivel seat, which is where you guys are propped up on right now, when friends come over and sit on my swivel seat, they're technically putting their feet in my bathroom, or is it my kitchen? The multi-use room. We're gonna go with that. This is the multi-use room. But if you are a little bit sensitive on disgusting things, then van life might not last for you. You may not might not be the person that's going to survive in this life if you find pooping in the kitchen is something that you would never ever do in your life. Welcome to my house. <laughs> when you come over and sit in that chair and have a beer with me while I'm sitting back here on my bed, just know that we're looking across the place that I do my do my the fluid. <laughs> okay, guys. Before I push this a little bit too far, I say that. That, those words too, too many times. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> that is such a boy, man. Those, that's such a funny word. I know if you're watching this with your kids, your kids are laughing. Mommy said poop, mom. Mommy said poop. Hopefully you guys are enjoying what we're doing and, and the randomness of my videos sometimes. But that's what happens every single day when you guys are in my house with me is that we just get what's on my mind every day. And sometimes we talk about the gross things that we do and my kitchen speaking of that <laughs> oh good timing for that thing to go because i gotta pee <laughs>